Hello and welcome to a special episode of Crypto Cartography. Today we're talking what is DeFi. I was forwarded this tweet from Patrick O'Shaughnessy, the podcaster, asking the question, what is DeFi? And I don't think you can answer that question without experiencing DeFi. Um, DeFi and crypto is just a natively online experience that I want to show you today of how we get from Web 2.0 apps to using Web 3.0 dApps and the connection of both information and currency transfer. So we do that mostly through our wallets. The most popular Meta, or DeFi wallet is MetaMask. This is a browser wallet. Here it is. I'm clicking on it and I'm going to log in right now. We need a browser wallet so that we can actually access Web 3.0 dApps, decentralized applications. I just logged in. I've got a small amount of ETH in here. I've got, you can also have other tokens listed down here as you purchase other tokens. Where do we purchase those tokens? Well, contrary to a centralized exchange, let's go to a decentralized exchange. Probably the best known is Uniswap. I can use this to come in here, pick any asset I want, and then trade it. I could trade 100 USDC into Ocean Token or any other type of token that I choose that's Ethereum native, but not only Ethereum native tokens, which we'll get into. And then I can actually change that, and then the decentralized exchange will do the work for me of taking my USDC, turning it into wrapped ETH or Ether, and then turning it into Ocean token for me, and my Ocean tokens would then flow straight through to my MetaMask wallet. So if I don't have a MetaMask wallet or a, or, or a decentralized wallet, I can't even access this Web 3.0 dApp that is Uniswap. Now, for, for decentralized exchanges, where are the funds that are actually we're trading on top of? A centralized exchange has funds or has market makers that, that supply the funds that would say, great, we have, US, we have Ocean lying around and we can give that to Nathan because Nathan wants um, – Ocean for 100 USDC. Well, in a centralized exchange, that's all in one place. In a decentralized exchange, you and I are the liquidity providers, and we get rewards for providing liquidity. Liquidity providers earn 0.3% fees on all trades proportional to their share of the pool. So you and I can add liquidity here, and we can add ETH. And let's say we add ETH and USDC. You and I can add these two assets, 50-50% each, and actually that rebalances um, consistently, which can lead to imper impermanent loss, but that's a topic for another day. And we can actually add liquidity here so that anybody in the future that wants to trade ETH and USDC, you and I are providing some of that liquidity so that those trades can go through. You and I will never lose those assets um, outside of maybe impermanent loss, but we would be earning liquidity provider fees of 0.3%, and this is a way for us to earn passive income. So a decentralized exchange, there is a, that key concept of that liquidity pools is separate from the actual exchange function and the exchange mechanism. Another decentralized exchange done by 0x is Matcha. We can go from their Web 2.0 website, which you just saw, to their Web 3.0 DAP, which is just loading right now. That dApp, as you can see, connects right away to my MetaMask wallet. I, I couldn't even access this with, if I didn't have a, a, a Web 3.0 wallet. And then I could say, great, let's take some ETH, and I might get some REN BTC. And I can go look at the ETH, and I can trade my ETH to REN BTC. What is REN BTC? Or actually, let me switch this around. REN BTC is simply wrap BTC. So all of DeFi, most of it lives on Ethereum right now. But BTC is native to the Bitcoin blockchain. So how do I get Bitcoin onto the Ethereum blockchain? I wrap it in REN, an Ethereum token, so that I can actually say, great, let me trade one of my ETH or five of my ETH, 4.16 REN BTC, which is equivalent to the price of BTC. And then I can actually earn interest and yield on my BTC so it's not stuck sitting on the Bitcoin blockchain alone. Additionally, let's look at a lending and borrowing option, Aave. I just went from their Web 2.0 app, and I'm clicking into their Web 3.0 app. It's going to automatically connect my wallet. This is going to be a similar, you know, consistent theme here. And I can come in here, and I can deposit any of these assets that are sitting in my MetaMask wallet and earn this stated APY here. I could also borrow for these rates right here as well. Sorry for the slowness and the latency here. Um, and I could deposit my ETH into Aave, wherever ETH is. Um, there it is, and I can earn 1.16%. So I could also view that here in the deposit page as well. Um, and then as well, I can go to Compound. I can do the same thing. Here's their Web 2.0. Let's go to their Web 3.0 DAP. 
as, as you can see, it wants me to connect my wallet or I cannot even participate. It automatically connects my wallet for me. That's great to see. I can supply these assets and earn this APY. I can borrow these assets as well um, and then go and you know, use the collateral of my crypto to borrow other cryptos. Let's go to another stablecoin dApp. Here is their M stable. Here's their Web 2.0 web page, and let's connect to their Web 3.0 dApp. It wants me to connect my wallet. Too easy. I can do that with my MetaMask. Happens right away. That's really great. Let's go back to the app. Now, this is a stablecoin application. So I can convert my stablecoins into MUSD, which is M stable stablecoin at a one to one ratio. So I can take my DAI, my USD, I can say, great, I'll put 500 of this, I'll put 500 of this, and I'm going to get 1,000 MUSD. What can I then do with my MUSD? Well, I could go and save it. Looks like they're earning about 26% APY for all of my MUSD savings. I can view their analytics. You can see it's a very unstable rate, um, and it looks like it's based on volumes here. We had a healthy rate of interest that one day, and we also had a lot of activity on the network as well. I could also go and earn through, through staking my MUSD, and they've got here rewards APY for balancers. Um, here's a Uniswap one if I, if I contribute ETH and MTA, MTA's um, M-Stables governance token. Here's a better one. If I, per, if I provide USDC and MUSD, I can get around 20% in balancer tokens. That's, that's, that's the basis right there of yield farming. Um, I would earn a very small APY on my crypto, and then I would earn a decent return in balancer tokens or another crypto asset, and I would be yield farming balancer in this case. So there is stable coins. If we want to talk about automated yield farming, we could go to wiren.finance. I could go to the earn page. Look, it needs to connect my wallet to continue. So I will do that. So as you can see, MetaMask is super powerful to just zip around uh, DeFi at hyperspeed. I could earn these interest rates on just stable coin deposits. I could go over to Vault. And then I could earn larger yields on ETH, on wrapped ETH, on YFI, on Curve LP tokens, on stable coins, and also on Chainlink as well. So I could use these vaults um, as an automated yield farmer for me. Now, a novel um, DeFi creation is Pool Together. Pool Together is a no loss audited savings game powered by blockchain technology. It's a no loss lottery ticket, is how I look at it. And here's their Web 2.0 page. Let's go to their Web 3.0 DAP. I click in, it's gonna ask me to connect my wallet like always, so I will do that right away. MetaMask, wonderful, connecting MetaMask to pull together. As you can see how fast we can move from financial institution to financial institution, see rates of lending and borrowing. You and I haven't spoken to one human as we would have to at a bank. So I could join the pool here. The next prize is 580 die, and it looks like total contracts is about a million dollars, and there's about 10,000 people playing. And they always, they ask, where does the prize come from of $580? Well, the prizes come from the interest that has accrued on the total value of $1 million. So I can go in here, buy a ticket and join the pool. Say I could put down 10 die. Um, I would get my 10 die at back at the end of this. And one lucky player is going to win 580. I've lost no money by joining this pool. All I simply do is deposit my money and I have just opportunity costs. Um, whether I purchase 10 die tickets or I think there is a limit of how many tickets you can buy, but this is a no loss lottery system that I think is a really fun kind of novel DeFi, ne DeFi mechanism. Next, let's go over to NFTs, non-fungible token marketplace. The league leader there is OpenSea. So let's explore their marketplace. Some people would say NFTs is not DeFi. I disagree. I think that everything that touches both the connection of information and currency transfer can live under decentralized finance. This technically is a decentralized marketplace um, where I could buy all sorts of things. I could buy this little meme coin um, for 0.77 Ether. I could buy this flag for 2 Ether. Um, I could buy a domain name, why, why toe currencies advis dot crypto. So I can buy a bunch of things here on the OpenSea marketplace. And as you can see over here, I've got a bunch of different um, DAP organizations who are producing NFTs that, I, that you and I can go and buy and sell. So here is our NFT marketplace. The last thing I wanted to show you is virtual reality. 
We do have Decentraland, where you and I can actually go buy parcels of land in a decentralized world, or we could buy um, clothing for our avatar. We could buy names for our parcel of land. And as you can see, this is in the mana um, currency. So I could come in here to USD. I could go and search for mana, the native currency of Decentraland. And what do you know? I could get some mana. And actually, how much is 15,000 mana? Or excuse me, let's do it this way. If I wanted 15,000 mana, it looks like this parcel of land here on the top right is worth about $1,100. And we, you could be the proud owner of parcel 3, negative 48. So we have just flown through DeFi all using the MetaMask wallet, um, dancing around from Web 3.0 DAP to Web 3.0 DAP um, pretty seamlessly. We've hit, what's this, two, four, six different um, financial institutions, and we've hit uh, actually seven financial institutions and two NFT marketplaces, one based around virtual reality and one generalized. And in this way, we've, using, we've used our MetaMask wallet to simply fly around Web 3.0 dApps at lightning speed. So to answer Patrick O'Shaughnessy's question of what is DeFi, in my opinion, this is what DeFi is. It's flying around decentralized applications at lightning speed using your own wallet, your own bank that nobody else has access to but you. Hopefully this helped you get a better understanding of what DeFi is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have any questions. If you need help getting um, assets onto your MetaMask wallet, that's a more basic video that I can go through as well. Happy crypto investing. Like, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.